snow is reflecting light into my room and looks very nice. So it's a good day to do a sketchbook tour. Here's the cover. I put a bunch of stickers on it. It looks cool. I like it. That's that's cool. <laughs> Here's the first page. It got destroyed by graphite. That's gonna be a common theme in the first half of the sketchbook, sorry. Here's something that I had a dream about. It was a little shadow guy. I dreamed there was a little shadow person in my house, but he didn't do anything. He was really nice. He was- he definitely looks like my son though. Like, this is not an original concept. Next is not very impressive. Honestly, this entire first page of the sketchbook's not very good. Here's Lord of the Rings. This sketchbook, um, you're gonna see a lot of Lord of the Rings, because I got pretty into Lord of the Rings this year for like the second half of 2022. Um, there's a bunch of notes from a presentation I gave at school, so I put them in my sketchbook to make me feel better. Here's sketches for a drawing. This is a finished drawing right here. Here I tried to work on my original characters more because I never draw them. More drawings by my friend, and then there's a sketch that I made that I never turned into a finished drawing. This is the first spread of the sketchbook that looks like kind of nice, but it's still kind of haphazardous. Under here is some sketches. I never made anything out of. I remember I really liked this one when I finished it. Now it looks kind of weird. I think it's the placement of his facial features. Like you could, it just looks off. Here was preparation for an animation. So I tried drawing an actual background. Uh, I put lots of thought into it and in the video you can barely see it. So let's take a moment to appreciate this. I don't really have much to say here. These are all drawings I made at school. Most of the time when I draw at school, it doesn't turn out very good. This one I drew at home, so it was really good. Um, I, this, this one I drew out of anger, like I was really mad because I didn't want to do any homework. So I drew this and then I was like, I'm gonna make this netu. So then I made it netu and then I added another netu and another one. And it turned out pretty good. And I didn't draw here anything here because I didn't want to mess it up. Next page, some Zelda stuff. I drew Tears of the Kingdom Link way later than everyone else did. My friend drew this one and that one. Here's Ganondorf. This is the first time I ever drew Ganondorf since I was like seven years old. It's in the sketchbook somewhere. Right here. This is my first drawing of Ganondorf I ever made in my life. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is Gendorf at the Fisherman, because I found out in the in, in the files of, of Majora's Mask 3, there are models for Sheik and Gendorf at that, the fishing well in Ocarina of Time, the 3DS version. So that means they were gonna put Gendorf and Sheik just fishing while the moon is falling, and that's fucking, that's so funny to me. <laughs> So I made sketches for that. Here's a drawing that I made for when I was on spring break. That was fun. Some... I wanted to draw like Link's mom, but like dead. Turning into a tree. Cause that's like manga Zelda lore or whatever. Here was drawings of hobbits. I was trying to draw their like proportions, but like realistic. I didn't, I didn't do that. This page got really messed up by the graphite. I drew these during a test. And uh, I really wish I took better care of this one because I really like the sketch. I turn into this one. I like this drawing. Also, this sketchbook is when I started and finished playing Skyward Sword. It took me like half a year to finish that game because it's, it's a long game. It's like at least 11 hours long. And also, I had school and stuff in between. There's a bunch of personal art here, but I'm just gonna show this comic, which is based on lovely childhood experiences. These are just doodles I made at school. Nothing really cool. There's a nurse, Mifa. So cute, because I love nurses and maids. And then my friend drew this. Here are sketches for the that Mifa animation I made. Uh, that one was that one's kind of awkward to look back on because there's like no background music. I made it purely just to like test and challenge myself because I hadn't made a fully colored animation beforehand with backgrounds and I wanted to practice character animation. 
like the acting part. So here's more sketches for that right here. I like this page. It's very cluttered, but it also makes sense. It's cool to look back on. There's drawings under there that I didn't like, so I put Link there. More sketches for that video. Some figure drawings. I love figure drawings. I haven't done many figure drawings lately though. Like not in a while. I should do that. Here's more. More doodles from school. They kind of suck. I like this drawing. This one's really cute. And I like these characters that I made up at school. My friend drew that one. I didn't. More drawings. I didn't draw these, my friend did everything else I did. I wanted to draw like Riju and pa Paya and Zelda having like sleepover, but I never did. Drawings. I was at a convention and I saw a dude dressed as Tingle playing DDR and it was a beautiful sight, so I had to draw it. These drawings are pretty okay. <laughs> so drawing me and my friend. <laughs> more drawings than me and my friends. Also, I noticed this year that I don't draw my friends like at all. <laughs> like I used to do that a lot when I was little, but I just don't know <laughs> and I feel really bad. It makes me feel like I value fictional people over real people. <laughs> more drawings, doodles. I don't really have much to say here, but here is where I'm gonna start rambling because this was when um, I got really into Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I really like this Samwise drawing. It's really cute. Here's Sidon. This is the last time I drew Sidon in the sketchbook. Last time I drew Sidon in general. <laughs> Here's a drawing of a loose, very loose painting of a yard, but I really do like how it turned out. It's very warm. Here's like the weirdest fucking spread ever. You ever think you'd seen Yume Nikki? Lord of the Rings on the same page. I bet you didn't, but they're both on my mind. So I guess I'm gonna ramble about Lord of the Rings now. Okay, before that, I went to conventions this summer. I took so many cosplayer photos. I wanted to draw them all and I made this whole composition for it, but I never finished it, so. <laughs> I really do love cosplayers so much though. They bring so much life to the party. Anyway, um, back to Lord of the Rings. Oh, speak of the devil, it's Bilbo Baggins. Um, I read the Hobbit book this year for myself, and I remember I watched the Hobbit movies when I was a kid when they came out. I remember thinking they were like kind of really fucking boring, because they spent like 20 minutes on the barrel scene when the dwarves were escaping from the elves, and in the book it was like five pages or whatever, I don't know. Maybe even two pages. So these are not the first drawings of Bilbo I've ever drawn in my life, apparently. This is this old notebook from when I was like seven. Here. Bilbo, do you eat my sandwich? I am your sandwich. What the fuck is this? Is this Vor? I don't even know, is that supposed to be Bilbo or did I just think it was a funny name and I named that guy Bilbo? <laughs> Definitely going with the latter. I remember my music teacher in like elementary school, she was really into a bunch of nerdy shit like Lord of the Rings and Zelda. She was really cool for that, like I think I took that for granted as a kid. She would show us videos like Smooth McGroove and Lindsay Sterling playing Zelda music, that was fucking cool. I really like this drawing of Samwise, it'll turn out good. Here's a bunch of Hobbit drawings and shit, okay. The reason I got really into Lord of the Rings this summer was because I went to a convention where the actors for the Hobbits were there, so I was like, oh, I should rewatch the movie before I go to that convention. Oh yeah, so me and rather rewatch it and it was freaking cool I love Lord of the Rings. Fun fact, actually, my mom, she met the actor for Samwise, Sean Austin like twice like she met him when i was a baby in like universal studios or whatever and then she met she saw him again in the convention so that's pretty cool here are original characters i was doodling them all getting their little dynamic out sorted next are figure drawings 
nothing to say here. Um, this one, this one took me multiple tries to do. It was kind of difficult. Never give up. This is drawing on my mom at IHOP. It's Frodo. Nothing really cool is happening on these pages anymore. Um, observational drawing. I swear I'm gonna make like a really nice painting of this one day, but I guess this one sucked. Right here is the Lord of the Rings spread of my sketchbook. It's so pretty. I love Lord of the Rings. And of course there's a whole page dedicated to Frodo. He's my favorite of the Hobbits. He's my favorite character of Lord of the Rings in general. I don't know. It's just, it kind of reminds me of like Ocarina of Time hero time link and the way that didn't deserve that much pain. Just try to be a good man. <laughs> good boy. Also, he was pretty. He was fucking beautiful when he was young. <laughs> pretty privilege is real. Even if, okay, Elijah Wood has fucking weird faces. He looks like he's gonna coom like half the time in that movie. It's really funny. <laughs> I really like this drawing of Bilbo and Gandalf because I really love appreciating Lord of the Rings. How the men are very affectionate with each other and it's like, yeah, more movies should have that where bros are just hugging and it's nice and they don't have to worry about, ooh, I'm not, I'm not gay or anything. Like, nah, you don't need to worry about that. Those are, um, by the way, these are like thumbnails for that animation I just posted. Unless I post the Zelda one. Unless I post this one right before this video. Oops! That's probably gonna happen, but that was the only plays one. <laughs> so to the person in the comment section who wanted to see Gollum flossing, here are my shitty little doodles of it. I didn't feel like animating. I'm sorry. I really like this drawing. This one really does make him look like Gollum, but also friendly and like has character appeal and shit. By the way, that animation got so much love. It actually, it made me want to cry. It was so kind. I was so flattered. If any of you guys are watching, any of you newcomers from that um, Lord of the Rings animation are watching, I want to say thank you. <laughs> it really made my day. More drawings from school. I really like this nest drawing. It's a shame that it's covered, actually. There's more stuff from school, because, you know, I never draw anything good at school. More hobbits. Mary Pippin. Uh, that one fell off. Here's Aragorn on the other side. Aragorn is such a quality man. There's nothing wrong with the eyes under here. I just thought I should draw them a little bit smaller. It makes him look older. I do not blame Eowyn for falling in love with him. Like, I would too. Damn! He's drawing a link. I, I do this at school, so I put them there. He's so drawing a Frodo. I like, I was looking at three reference photos all at the same time drawing this pose. So that's why it doesn't look very good. I could tell something was off, but I just couldn't pinpoint it. So I just put it in the computer. Got a Clip Studio Paint 3D model to redo it. And here it is. At least isn't that so cute. Wow. There's layers. There's the Zelda doodle. Under it is some Asamanga dye. Oh, Tomocha. And watercolor. There's. Sakaki. This sketchbook I watched as a manga dial. I loved it so much. Oh my god. Like I've tried watching it multiple times throughout my life, but I just couldn't get past like the first three episodes for some ever for whatever reason. Well it's because it's slice of life. So But you know, I really like Slice of Life anime and I just watched it while eating dinner and I loved it so much. I fucking love Slice of Life anime. I love it so much. I love it so much! I've been playing Final Fantasy, by the way. Um, I bought it at the beginning of the sketchbook. Like, I mean like the old PS2 or PS1 game. It's on Switch. It was there for like $7, so I was like, I, I'll get it. This drawing, I'm really proud of. I didn't expect to look this good at all. But wow, I, I'm like, damn. That one's a good one. Here's the photo, side by side comparison. Before I drew the line art on this, it looked so fucking bad. It looked. <laughs> I was about ready to give up. 
Then there's a little drawing of me. All the actors in Lord of the Rings just do such a phenomenal job. It's like amazing. In case you ever want to hear about the wonder and magic of filmmaking, just watch the behind the scenes of Lord of the Rings and it'll make you want to become a filmmaker, man. Here's a comic I made about how I feel about shipping fan art that I make. This next page, I decided, you know what, I need to make some original characters or else. So I was pulling out a bunch of writing about my character. But I don't think any of you want to read that, so I'm just going to sum it up for you right now. This is Piper. She's an art kid. Oh, see. So, in my head, I have a bunch of pre- I have a bunch of personalities for a handful of vocaloids. So I thought, okay, this is shit that I came up with in my brain. So I should just put that out into the world. So I made these little characters, these kids, and like middle school or high school they're like freshmen and they're based on my little interpretations of vocally so this is piper she's based on my interpretation of rin she's very energetic she's a twin she loves drawing fucking sonic characters so far for her backstory she's she's kind of a dumbass so she's a little bit insecure about that so she's like okay if i can't do my multiplication tables then at least i can draw really good sonic characters so that's how she's become a pretty she's a pretty decent artist like she's really annoying but she's actually pretty good at drawing for like 14. Some background knowledge is that she kind of hates phrase, but she still had a Sonic OC, so she's not any better. And of course, she wants to go to art school, and she's like, I need, I need to become an artist, so that's going to be a conflict in her future. If I ever make a story about it, if I did, it would be like pretty low key, it would be like slice of life. On the other page is her twin brother, I don't have a name for him yet. I just want it to sound kind of similar to Piper. He's based off of Lynn. He's a little bit more reserved. He also likes drawing a lot, but he plays video games a little bit more. There's a bunch of stuff that he's into. He's He loves art and video games, but like he's not gonna make a career out of it. He's like, ah, that's, I don't need that. He's a little shy. He's a little bit unconfident, but he's gonna, he's gonna become a cool Chad one day. Here's another character. I don't have a name for her yet. I just have a dynamic for her with Piper and Paul or Parker, Preston, I don't know. She's in a couple classes with Piper. She's like really jealous of Piper, but she also really wants to be Piper's friend because she likes drawing too, but she doesn't know how to show it. And she has a resting bitch face, so she can't communicate that well. Honestly, I base her a little bit off of me. <laughs> I feel like that's what all artists do. You base all of your characters a little bit off of you, like little elements off of you. She's kind of inspired by Neru and Teto, but they aren't vocaloids, but I don't care. Next page, some figure drawing. I didn't expect, I thought this pen was like water-based, so I thought it was gonna smudge. It didn't, it looked nice. Here's some more Final Fantasy art. I did not expect this to look this good. Especially because, like, as I was drawing, um, fucking Barrett, I realized I haven't drawn Buff Man in so long. I was like, holy moly. I like this drawing. I made a typo. <laughs> so I drew that. Here's a comic based on my characters. I don't think, I think if I finish it, I'm definitely going to change this part. Because I feel like this kind of... It won't- it might not send the right message I want it to. Like, however bad or good you may think you are at art, at least you're not like a computer. Like, with all your art, you have all of your emotions, experiences, and memories put into that piece. And that's- that's pretty cool. I drew this because it was my birthday. Here, I'm gonna heavily censor this drawing. <laughs> I'm not ready to reveal my age on the internet. Cause Ryan was self aiming for my birthday. I did not expect it to look this good. Like, if 11 year old me saw this line art and this coloring, she would explode. He's drawing of me and my friends playing Mario Party. I've really gotten into Splatoon. Oh my god, I'm like addicted, bro. I really like this Zelda drawing. That one looks nice. It makes me feel like I should draw in color pencil more. <laughs> There's a Bakio. I haven't drawn him since. 2020. On the other half is the drawing of myself playing piano because I got one recently. 
you know what i'm gonna play something for you guys that's like a very beginner version of that song but you know that's the point and here is the end of a sketchbook. I didn't want to draw anything else, so I just wrote in here and called it a day. At the end, there's a sticker that my friend gave me. It got demolished, so I put it here. And here's Pim. I love smiling friends. I'm so hyped for season two. I'm so ready. Please give it to me. Here's Navi. So that every time I walked around holding this in school, everyone knew I was a really cool Zelda fan. Here's more stickers, and that's the end of my sketchbook. It's a pretty cool sketchbook. Hey, actually I had other sketchbooks during this, so I'll show that. Why not? There aren't very nice drawings in here. But here's one. Look, it's over the garden wall! I really got into over the garden wall this year. Although, Wart, he kind of looks like Hattie Fujioka, and I don't want him to look like that. <laughs> okay, I think that's going to be the end of the sketchbook tour. So, thanks for watching! Bye bye! Okay, I forgot to mention this. My friend gave me this. It's a little Freddo. Isn't he so cute? Isn't he so... charming? Aww. That's so foul. I don't like how they...